We're excited that you joined us today for the Word of Power broadcast with Jeannie Alcott. We encourage you to hear God's Word concerning your desires and dreams and His healing for you. Let God speak to your heart through this teaching and anointed time of prayer. Then, Jeannie and John invite you to contact them. They will pray the prayer of faith for you. Now, listen for a word of power for your life. What a joy to be with you. This is Jeannie Alcott. Have you ever experienced being in a conversation with someone and you mentioned the word supernatural? And as soon as you started talking about the spiritual realm, did that person start acting as though you were talking about something weird? Well, that happens because many people don't understand the spiritual realm, even some Christians. And yet we interact with it every day, whether we recognize it or not. And if we're not taking advantage of what God gives us as a Christian through the supernatural, then we're missing out on all that God can do for us and with us. The spiritual realm is all around us, and the more understanding we have of it and our interaction with it, the greater we'll be able to see God move and the attacks of the enemy against us can be defeated. You know, one of the reasons for that is because through the spiritual realm, you can get inside information. You're made privy to what's going on that cannot be seen. Well, we know in the spiritual realm, the activity cannot be seen. Events happen in the spiritual world first, and then we see them manifested right where we exist. So because so much is going on in the spiritual world before we ever see it happen, God has enabled us to have access at times to that inside information. And He gives us this privilege because it's for our protection and blessing. The story in Acts chapter 9 about Saul, who eventually became the Apostle Paul, is a perfect example of this. Paul had just been converted in a very dramatic way, and now he was in Damascus. However, the Christians didn't trust him because, I mean, just a few days prior to this, he's persecuting them. But you know, as soon as he was converted, he went into the synagogues and he began to announce that Jesus is the Son of God. And even though the people didn't trust him, the Bible says he increased all the more in strength and he continued to come against the Jews who were against the message of Jesus. He was so good at debating that he could compare and examine the evidence and prove that Jesus is Christ, the Messiah. Now that's all great, but because of that, he started to get on the nerves of the Jews who did not believe. And so they conspired to get him out of the way. They were going to kill him. This is where inside information is needed. The Holy Spirit made Paul privy to the plot. The knowledge of their plan was made known to him. And I want you to know that as you are listening for direction from the Holy Spirit, he can make you privy to the plot of the enemy. When things are not going well in that project, it's stuck or you have hit a wall, ask God for inside information. When the doctors can't find the answer for what's causing you pain or problems, go to the supernatural and ask for knowledge to be given. You can find the direction of where to go for help in your finances. You can be made privy to what the problem is in the family or the relationship that won't work out. God has things to make known to each one of us concerning what we face each day. And as we recognize this supernatural privilege, and that's what it is, a supernatural privilege, then we will access it and see God be able to direct us into what He has for us. Just think where Paul would be if he had not accessed the supernatural knowledge. Because he was made privy to that plot, those who believed in him and had become his disciples took him at night to hide him in a basket. Then they lowered him in the basket outside the wall because the city gates were being guarded. He fled and he arrived safely in Jerusalem to continue preaching. And that's what we want, isn't it? Just to be able to safely go about our business day to day. To be able to complete what God has put in our heart. And God enables us to do that supernaturally. Each day, ask Him to give you the inside information you need to fulfill your responsibilities and to have well-being and happiness and security. Then believe that you will receive it. A man and his family saw this happen in a big way for them. They live in West Africa in a town where sometimes in the evening the electricity goes down. And this is especially difficult for the husband because some evenings he needs to be able to finish some of his office work at home. But the power was going off so often that finally his wife went out and bought some candles. She put one in the bedroom where the baby was and the other in the living room. So the husband tried to work by the candle, but he decided that one was not enough light. 
Then instead of working, he decided to pray and talk with God. After that, he lay down on the sofa and drifted off for a while. Well, in the night, he heard a voice speaking to his spirit in a dream. And the voice said, wake up, you are dying. Wake up, you are dying. All of a sudden, he woke up and he saw that the room was on fire. The candle had fallen over and started flames everywhere. And he knew they were in grave danger. Not only because the house was on fire, but there was a greater danger there. See, it was common for people to keep their small motorbikes in their house. And his family had two of them right near where the fire had started. And if those two motorbikes caught on fire, the gas in the bikes would explode. So right away, he tried to put the flames out with sand and water, but the fire was too much. So he ran into the bedroom to get his wife and baby. By the time he got there, they had been affected by the smoke filling the house. So he had to pick them up and carry them out of the house. And although their home was burned, their lives were saved, and they were able to rescue a few of their things. He says, I realized it was Jesus who had spoken to me in my dream. I cried out, Jesus, save us. And we saw a miracle that night. I woke up just in time. The motorcycles did not explode, and my wife and my baby were safe. Those who came to help us said, Your God is great. Your God is alive. It was supernatural. The entire family could have been destroyed, but they were saved. After the husband had prayed and talked with God, in a dream God made the plot known to him, and they were able to escape what the enemy had planned to do. I tell you, you want the supernatural operating in your life. Acknowledge the spiritual world every day. You can receive inside information to help you spiritually in every way. Escape destruction. Escape from a relationship which can cause you harm. Get out of a situation that has been set up to cause you to fail in some way. The million and one things that confront you can go a better way. And that's because you have access to the supernatural. And God can direct your life through it. Think how he did this for a woman in the Bible. She had a nice house and a farm. But she did not know that very soon a famine was coming to her region. And it would be very difficult for her to make it. So God gave her inside information. He sent the prophet Elisha to her and he gave her the plan. She was to get her household and go to another region because a famine was coming for seven years. And she was smart enough to recognize that was supernatural help coming her way. So she packed her bags and she left the region for those famine years. She missed all the terrible suffering that happened. That's great. That's wonderful. But when she returned, other people had taken over her home and her crops and her produce. So she went to the king to appeal to get it back. Again, supernatural help came her way. Elisha's servant just happened to be with the king that day, and he recognized this woman when she came in. In fact, he had just been talking about her. He was telling the king the story about how years ago she had a son who had died, and Elisha had raised him back to life by the power of God. So while the king is enthralled with hearing this story, in walks this woman. And Elisha's servant said, O king, this is the woman, and this is her son whom Elisha brought back to life. So the woman made her appeal, and the king restored all that was hers, all the fruits of the field since the day that she had gone away until now. See what that inside information did for her? She avoided the entire famine, and then when she came back, God gave the king inside information about her, which caused him to have favor on her. Can you have that same thing happen for your life? Absolutely. Expect it. Start watching for it more. Allow your spirit to have a greater sense of awareness, and now we really need to hear this. Ask God to give your spirit a higher sense of awareness of the spiritual world and how you are interacting with it. It won't be something way out or weird. It may be unusual, of course, but it will be exciting and beautiful because it will be from God. So be ready for the supernatural to happen. Oh, Father, we are ready for the supernatural. I believe for your supernatural power to enter into what my friend is facing at this time. And the plans of the enemy will be made known to them. They will be given inside information so they can walk in the way of your spirit. Answers and deliverance will come. Oh, we're flowing with the Spirit, and He is moving us toward what you have for them. The enemy cannot keep up with how fast your Spirit is moving. I sense that right now, Father. Your Spirit is moving so fast because He has an important work to do in their life. And as they flow with Him, 
they are going to see the supernatural power come into their situation. They are going to receive guidance that's impossible for them to receive any other way. And because of that, they'll be protected and they'll see direction and answers come to them. Blessings are on the way. And we praise you for this in the name of Jesus. Amen. I tell you, because we have prayed, the Spirit is moving. He's flowing fast because He has so much to accomplish for you. So let's stand in faith together for the supernatural to do a great work for you. Share with me right away what you need God to do because I'm going to pray with you and intercede. And then I'm going to send you some words from God's Spirit for your life. So contact me soon. And now for the one who does not know Jesus as your friend and Lord. The Spirit of God is speaking to your heart right now. He has come to you to show you how you can walk in the wonderful plans He has for your life. And you can have eternal life in heaven. My husband John is coming now to show you how you can do this. Oh dear listener, have you come to the place in your spiritual life where you know for certain if you died tonight, you would go to heaven and have eternal life? Did you know that the price to get to heaven has been prepaid? It's already been completely purchased. The Bible says, There is no other name given among men by which we must be saved, and that name is Jesus. Jesus paid the penalty for your sins and purchased a place in heaven for you. Jesus is reaching that gift out to you right now, and He wants you to receive Him. And let's do that. I'll simply say a prayer And if you'll repeat the words from your heart to God, you'll receive the Lord Jesus Christ and the free gift of eternal life. Say, Father God, I believe in your Son Jesus, that He paid the penalty for my sins and purchased a place in heaven for me. Forgive me for my sins. Thank you for the free gift of eternal life. Amen. Oh, we're so excited you accepted Jesus into your life. And we encourage you to attend a Bible-based church. You need to read God's Word and pray. Do all those things so that He can speak to your heart and show you the wonderful plans He has for you. And make sure that you contact us and tell us you've done this. That's because we want to rejoice with you and pray for you. And we want to send you some materials that will minister to your life. So we cannot wait to hear from you. Okay, everybody, get ready for our spiritual power line. This is the line of power we're going to put out in the spiritual realm. We're going to speak it out from a heart of faith and then watch God activate it. So you just go around saying, I have inside information. I have inside information. And then believe for God to supernaturally give that to you for your life. And be sure you get this teaching. I'll send you a CD of all five parts of it. And on that CD will be the prayer times we have with God. Mighty times of His Spirit moving. Just ask for the spiritual realm and you. That's the name of it. The spiritual realm and you. It's offer number AM502. That's 502 for a gift of $8 or more into this work for God. And next week is going to be an exciting time. Make sure you join me for that teaching and the prayer times we're going to have. This is Jeannie Alcott. God bless you. We pray that you felt God's spirit minister to you in a powerful way today. Jeannie and John invite you to contact them for prayer and to receive a letter filled with God's Word for you. Write to Alcott Ministries, Post Office Box 3400, Broken Arrow, Oklahoma, 74013, or call 918-459-9191. Our website at alcottministries.org is available for you to share your needs or to request items. There you can also listen to Word of Power broadcasts and receive an encouraging word and prayer for your life. Please be sure to request the entire teaching for a gift to Alcott Ministries. We encourage you to join us as we give financially into God's work and then expect a great blessing for your life. Be with us next time for A Word of Power.